up guys so we're on the second part of this fence for this uh, private school that we're working at and uh, we went ahead and already got all the old chain link up yesterday you can see where the old holes were and we got all the string line ran and now we are digging we're using a t62 with a six inch rock auger bit we got all these dug yesterday 12 of them easy digging right in the soil so the rest are here on top of this asphalt. So let's get started.
All right, all the posts are set. Take you down and show them. We're doing a, a rolling gate right here, 12 foot rolling gate uh, on a V track system. As you can see, did the same thing down here. We're gonna come down from here, slope down to down here about foot, I mean, uh, two or three feet. But as you can see, these posts are perfectly in line. We're not using this first post. We're going to end up cutting that off. This one right here, and it's it's out of it's out of level, anyways. But if you look down, the ones behind it, perfectly level. So we're gonna go to lunch, come back, and stain that fence over there. That'll be a separate video. All right, we got all of these uh, two by fours on. We did this yesterday. Uh, it's kind of humid, raining and miserable so i didn't record any of it it was just kind of fast paced and i believe school started today for this school so we gotta get this job finished Kind of nice seeing it come together finally. Always is. Here we got our V-track for our gate. Gate's gonna be a little over 12 foot. We got two of them. One right up there, one right there. And then over here, this is actually gonna come down just like that. So uh, let's get started. majority of this we got a little rip piece we got to put here but we did all this from 9 start actually we started at 9 30 and it's 1 15 so a little over four hours it's not bad this was uh let's say roughly 200 foot be a little less 180 ballpark we'll do this portion here later i think we're going to go to lunch and then come and do this front portion here or attempt to as long as it's not raining it's supposed to rain again today some more well, see you in a minute all right, so it is time to build our gates. We are using 16 gauge, two by two galvanized square tubing. These are 24 footers. Uh, our gates are gonna be 13 foot by six foot and some change. I got it written down. Uh, I'm gonna build these here at home because there's a possibility I might need to use my MIG welder uh, because it's such thin metal. Um, it's just easier, but we're probably gonna go ahead and try with the uh, with the stick welder first so uh 
yeah, it's pretty late in the evening. I say it's late, it's not even five o'clock yet, but uh, it's still cloudy, rainy, it's humid. So uh, I wanna get this done. So let's do it. So it took me a few minutes to get set up. I made a little table. I wanted to go over what I'm using. Uh, I'm using this Evolution seven and a half inch. Uh, it, uh, it's supposed to be like a multi-cut, like it can cut everything. Uh, I bought it a while back to use for a job and honestly it works really nice. So I'm just gonna kind of go over this process of what we're doing making this gate. Uh, right now I'm cutting all my 13 foot sections. So basically I just got it set up on some pipe jacks. Then it goes over to this pipe jack and I'm cutting this other one. You always gotta remember to cut on the correct side of the line. So since this is the piece I need, we're cutting on the opposite side. Now it comes with this cool clamp. A lot of people won't use it, I do. Cause you just never know when, you know, catastrophe could happen. This thing kicks out or something, you know. One thing I can say is to wear sunglasses or safety glasses uh, because this thing kicks out a ton of metal shavings and you get one of those in your eye you're going to be going uh, visiting the hospital and that ain't going to be very funny. I did that a long time ago. Now only uh, another suggestion I can make. So let the machine do the cutting. Don't force it, don't push down hard, just let it cut through it, glide through it like butter. It really is just, it's, it's very smooth, it really is. Another thing I can suggest is to keep a bucket nearby to throw all your scraps away. I got one over here. All right, so as you can see, I used the very top one as my template. I cut the other three with it. Those are the only four, I only need four of these 13 footers. But as you can see, it's a, they're pretty square cuts with each other. You know, close enough for what we're doing. So next is to cut the short pieces out of the ones that I just cut over there, this one. I got a couple short ones to cut. Okay, we're cutting these at 74.
So since we are uh, welding so, something so thin, I'm actually gonna change the polarity on this. So right now it's set up for electrode positive, which means uh, this is my positive, this is my negative. I'm gonna swap my leads, so this will be my positive, this will be my negative. What that does is it makes my rod burn hot, hotter and not my metal, so I can actually weld this uh, thin metal stuff a hell of a lot better, quicker, without blow through or something of that nature. All you do to do that, like me, I have these quick connects. Just take them and move them on my trash.
building the gates. That took roughly six hours. Kind of crazy to think it took that long, but uh, oh, it's dark. Um, you know, I'm doing it by myself, and uh, yeah, it takes a while to build these big gates by yourself. Um, it's supposed to rain again tomorrow, so I don't know if we're gonna get these installed or not, but we are gonna try. So, either way. Here in just a second, uh, we'll be installing these gates. All right, guys, we have got the hard part over. Got it done with. Got the gates up. V tracks attached. Got our stops, our hinges. Got all the rollers installed. Show you how this works. Show you what we did real quick. We put a picket on the inside on both of these. So that way when this gate's closed, you can't even see it. And then we did this cool little latch here that just, all you do is you do that to open it and then you pull this back and it's locked. So put these little brackets on here for these uh, two bives to screw to. And then we just nail our pickets to these. So this little bracket here keeps that from moving. We got two of these installed. Still need to paint all these. But did the same thing on this side. Put a stop for the wheels, for the rollers. Put a stop to keep this from, you know, falling over same thing with this lock boom so this is how they look closed you almost can't tell then we also did this over here I didn't record a lot of this it's just self-explanatory little things that don't need to be recorded I feel but uh, yeah, so uh, we're about to stain, getting cardboard laid out, and try to finish this job up.
job is done we just finished staining um, and got cleaned up so let me show you how these gates work I'm just watch them disappear these are pretty neat we got two of them like that Y'all see where this arrow is? That was an accident. I didn't mean to line this this in, entrance or exit with that arrow, but it just happened. Yeah, so as you can tell, I mean, you almost can't tell that there's two gates because of how we did this. I mean, it looks like one continuous run. That's the look we were going for. And I think we knocked it out of the ballpark. I really do. The stain came out really nice. I'm very pleased with it. I'm gonna take a video of the other side. We left a pretty good gap on the bottom uh, for water runoff because the way this property is sloped, since it's a, uh, a parking lot, it's all sloped towards the street over here. So we had to leave a good gap so that way the pickets don't suck up water all the constantly. Show you all the inside. got our rollers we used a bunch of these uh, strong tie bolts they're made for concrete they work pretty well on this so we used a bunch of those this is a seven foot fence nine foot post and uh, next summer, they uh, want us to come and do the rest of this fence. So, must mean that we did a decent job. But, as always, I appreciate you guys watching the views. Uh, you know, if there's any questions or if you think I can go a little more in depth on things, I know I, I, I rush through it. Sometimes I'm just 
I'm just go, go, go. So uh, if there's anything that I can do to help you guys learn how to do this, any questions, just let me know. I'll answer the best I can. Uh, try to make a demonstration video, whatever it may be. But yeah, thanks for watching and on to the next one.